Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Abdurrahman Turkman from Afghanistan and in this video I am going to show you 5 ways to repair a corrupted SD card, USB pen drive or external hard disks. Few years ago I made a video on same topic but many people were complaining that the trick shown in the video is not working. With some it worked, with some it didn't. After getting huge amount of complaints I decided to make this video where I'll be showing you 5 different ways to repair a corrupted SD card, USB pen drive or external hard disks. If these methods didn't work for you, then at the end of this video, I'll show you how you can backup or recover your data from that corrupted SD card. So, watch this video till the end and I'll show you everything step by step. Before we get started, please subscribe to this channel, then press the bell icon to receive notification from my future videos. Here I have an SD card which is corrupted. Whenever I connect it to my computer, it asks me to format the disk. When I try to format it, it won't even format. As you can see, when I try to format it, it gives me this message. First of all, try to fix your SD card using a built-in tool called Check Disk or Error Check. This tool is only available in Windows machines. Right click on your corrupted SD card, then go to Properties. Here you have an option called Tools. Just click on it, then click on Check. This will check for errors if succeeded. If you get a message like this then you can check for errors using some cmd commands just go to start and type cmd or command prompt just right click on it and run it as administrator after that type here chk dsk this command is short form of check disk chk dsk after that space now type your drive letter, in my case my drive letter is G, as you can see it's here, so type here G in capital letter, then colon space, now type forward slash, then click on F, F means fix, after that just hit enter and it will start checking for errors. Now this will take a time depending on size of your USB drive or SD card. Ok once it's done, your USB drive should be fixed. As you can see mine is fixed. Here it is. If the first method didn't work for you, then try changing your SD card's drive letter. Sometimes assigning a new drive letter can fix a corrupted SD card. This method is mainly used for that kind of SD card that says, please insert a disk into a drive letter, just like the one you are seeing on your screen. You can also use this method to fix your corrupted SD card. So here's my SD card. To change drive letter of your SD card, just right click on my computer icon. Then click on manage. Now select disk management. Your corrupted SD card should appear over here. Now you can see my SD card is currently located in G drive. To change drive letter, right click on it. Then click on change drive letter and paths. Then select change. From this list, select a drive that is not already in use. So let's see, my computer is using C, D and E letters. So I'm just going to change to H which is not already in use, click OK, yes. And now you can see the drive letter has been changed. So let's see, unplug your SD card and plug back in, nope, problem still exists. If this method didn't work for you, then proceed to next step. Next we have updating USB drivers. Sometimes outdated USB drivers can cause corruption to USB drivers or SD cards. As you can see here is my corrupted SD card which is in G. To update USB drivers, go to control panel, open device manager, then select disk drives, then expand the list. 
there you should see your USB drivers. If it's not listed here, then scroll down, then expand the universal serial bus controller, expand this list, then you should see your USB driver over here. Now right click on it and uninstall it first. First remove this driver from your computer. So I'm just gonna uninstall it. Now unplug your USB drive. After that restart your computer. After restarting your computer, plug back in. Then right click on Universal Serial Bus Controller. Click on Scan for Hardware Changes. And it should fix your problem. If reinstalling USB driver didn't work for you, then go back to Control Panel, Device Manager. Now select your USB drive. Then right click on it. Then click on Update Driver Software. Just click on it. Now select the first option. If the driver of your SD card or USB flash is outdated, then it will download and install the latest drivers for your SD card. So as you can see, here it says mine is already updated. You can also use some software to update your USB drivers, such as Driver Easy. You can get the software from the link given in the description below. Once you install it, just open it. As you can see here, it says 29 new drivers available. So just click on scan. Basically, this software will show you all the drivers that are outdated. So you can update it using the software. Now you can see this software will show you the list of devices that are outdated. So from this list, select your USB drivers. If it's outdated, then click on update. It will be updated automatically. And after that, your USB flash or SD card will be fixed. If updating USB drivers didn't work for you, then try some CMD commands to fix your corrupted SD card. First of all, go to start and type CMD and open it. Then type here disk part D I S K P A R T. Hit enter. Click yes. After that, type here list volume. Hit enter. Now this is going to show all the partitions or volumes that are attached to your computer. So as you can see here is my SD card which is located in H drive and volume number is 4. Now type here select volume 4. In your case your volume number might be different. In my case it's in 4. Make sure you select the correct number. If you select the wrong number, then it will format the selected disk. So make sure you select the correct one. After that, hit enter. Okay, it's now selected. Next, type clean. Hit enter. If you get an error like this, then type clean once again. Okay, it's succeeded. Next, Type create partition primary. Hit enter. After that, type active. Enter. Okay, next command is select volume 4. Once again, select the correct volume number, okay? If you select any other number, then it will format that partition or volume. After that, hit enter. Now the last comment is format. Type here format space fs. fs means file system. Then equal. Now type the file system. In my case, I'm going to format it on FAT32. If you want to format it on NTFS, then type NTFS here. So I'm just going to format it on FAT32. After that, hit enter. Now this is going to format your SD card. So you just have to wait for it. This is going to take time depending on your storage size. If it's SD card, then it's going to take less time. If it's external hard disks, then it's going to take lots of lots of time. So you have to be patient. So it's 44% completed. I'll just pause the video over here and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, now you can see it's 100% completed. So here it says this part successfully formatted the volume. After that, 
type exit and hit enter now let's see here is our SD card if CMD method didn't work for you then you have another option to format your SD card remember this method will also format your SD card if succeeded to do that you have to use a partition tool called ASUS Partition Master. You can get the software from the link given in the description below. You can use whatever partition tool you want but this is the best among all. So I'm just gonna connect my corrupted SD card. After that right click on it and open the software with administration privileges. Click yes. As you can see this software will show you all the partitions of your computer. So my SD card is located in G drive as you can see it's unformatted to format this right click on it and format partition now type a name for your partition or SD card in my case I'm gonna put Texada now select the file system from this list in my case I'm gonna select FAT32 then cluster size leave as it is then click on ok click on ok once again ok once you've done that just click on this apply button over here to save changes just click on it then click on yes now as you can see it says one operation has been executed successfully just click on ok then go to your SD card and as you can see this is the SD card that were corrupted if the method shown in this video didn't work for you then your last option is to backup or recover your important data from that corrupted SD card in order to backup data from a corrupted SD card you will need a data recovery software you can use whatever data recovery software you want but my personal recommendation is Wondershare data recovery you can get the software from the link given in the description below this software is the only software that allows you to recover or backup data from a corrupted SD card or USB. Just download and install the software into your computer. After that, open it up. Now select the file types that you want to recover. In my case, I'm gonna select all the file types. After that, click next. Now select your USB or SD card. In my case, my SD card is located in G drive, which is right here as you can see it's in G drive so I'm gonna select disk G then click on start if you get a message like this as you can see it says scan is completed but this software didn't find anything if you get a message like this then you don't have to worry just click on ok then try to scan your SD card with deep scan here's the option just click on it now it will start scanning in deep scan mode so this is gonna take a while depending on how much files you have in your SD card or USB drive so I'm just gonna pause this video over here and I'll come back when it's done okay now the scanning is completed as you can see the software is found about 30 gigabytes files from my, that corrupted SD card as you can see these are the files so let's see in the video what we have in the video as you can see these are the files that were stuck in my corrupted SD card in order to recover them select the files that you want to recover in my case I'm gonna select these folders you can select all if you want then click on recover now select the place that you want to save these recovered files in my case I'm gonna save it on my D drive in a new folder called recovery then click on recover now this is gonna take another few minutes so you just have to wait for it okay now the recovery process is completed as you can see in this folder I have my recovered file so let's see what we have in JPG as you can see these are the pictures and I can't show you more pictures because that's personal so there you have it guys, that is how you can repair a corrupted SD card using these 5 methods. Please let me know which one of these methods work for you. And also let others know about this video by sharing it on your social media accounts. And if you want more videos like this, then subscribe to this channel with notification on. And I'll catch you on the next one. Have a nice day.